Hey, weekly breakthroughs. Welcome to another episode. It's a show where we explore all the key happenings from the AI world to see what really matters. The dawn of automated science. I'm very excited to talk about this next project as my background lies in research. One of the key challenges that the AI field has been trying to solve is, can we teach AI? Can we train AI? Can we develop AI systems capable of performing scientific research and discovering new knowledge? Now, why this is not just another task, I want to share this graphic from a paper titled Situational Awareness authored by Leopold Aschenbrenner. He's one of the people on OpenAI's super alignment team. And what he talks about is if AI can perform research, AI can improve itself. And the compounding effects of that would lead to something that he refers to as intelligence explosion. And intelligence explosion could potentially lead to us achieving super intelligence. So this is not just another task that we are trying to figure out. This is something very important. And Currently, large language models are only really able to assist researchers in performing research, right? They can summarize research papers, go through information, uh, uh, synthesize information from different studies, and that is about it. But Sakana AI challenges this statement that I just made. They introduce the AI scientist, and what their AI scientist can do is generate novel research ideas, write code, plan, execute experiments, visualize results, describe its findings by writing a full scientific paper and simulate a review process for evaluating it. So essentially it is able to emulate all the steps that a human researcher would take. Now, let's look at how exactly this works. They define three different stages. Stage number one is idea generation. Through using large language models, an idea is first formed and planned. Now, second step of idea generation is taking this idea and comparing it against search results from the semantic scholar. And what the AI scientist is trying to figure out if this idea brings something new, if it will introduce something new. And then ideas are scored and archived. Second stage is experiment iteration. Now, the AI scientist is able to define the experiment generate code, execute this experiment. This is an iterative process, so it can return to the previous step if something did not work as intended. And then lastly, in this stage, it can visualize results. And then the last stage is paper write-up. So it can write a full scientific paper, and in the end, again, by using large language models, review this paper and assess it, evaluate it. Now, is this process any good? I'm gonna share a few screenshots of the paper created authored by the AI scientist. The paper is titled Dual Scale Diffusion Adaptive Feature Balancing for Low-Dimensional Generative Models. Now, the title sure does sound smart. And the paper looks very good as well. I'm not going to cover all the details. It is available. It is public, so you can read it in full. But it does look very good. Now, the authors, they're very transparent. This AI scientist, it's not perfect, it does make mistakes, hallucinations, still a problem, and the AI scientist tends to represent information too positively. It's, it's overly positive about its finding. Even if something was, was negative, even if something did not reach, let's say, the, 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 the domain benchmarks, it will see represented as something positive. But a great thing about this project is it is fully open source. It is available on GitHub. The code is available so everyone can look at it and everyone can contribute to it. So this is a very exciting project that I will definitely keep my eye out on.